<laughs> Do you have a statement for the public, Congresswoman McKinney? Um, I would like to thank everyone who helped um, through their public expressions of outrage and disgust at the Israeli actions toward the Free Gaza 21 who helped us to gain release. Um, but what, again, what happened to us pales in comparison to what happens to the people of Gaza every day, to Palestinians every day. And so we can't forget that we have a new administration. This new administration promised us hope and change. We expect a change in the policies that are put forward from Washington, D.C. We've yet to see that. We need to press further and press harder to achieve that. One respects human rights and one's policy is founded and grounded in respect to human rights and everything else falls into place. All we were doing was carrying crayons for children. And because I wanted the children of Gaza to be able to, to color in coloring books with Crayola crayons and Crayola watercolors, I had to spend how many days in an Israeli prison? What was it like being inside there? Well, I'm Israeli prisoner number 88794. So I became one of probably thousands of Israeli, of Israeli prisoners. One of the things that I saw inside the Israeli prison is that people think that they are going to the Holy Land, which protects Christians and Jews. And when they arrive there, they understand that it's quite a different story. Time I can stand up for people and their human rights, people who have no voice, and people whose rights are being obliterated, I think I'm doing good work. In fact, I was um, incarcerated with Marie McGuire, who is the 1976 Nobel Peace Prize winner for her work on behalf of peace in Northern Ireland. And she said to me on the night of our arraignment, she said, Cynthia, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would be proud of you now. You plan to go back?